we went outside, we walked around the, uh, the west side of the building, and as we were walking past the uh, theater entrance there, there's a large statue out in front of the theater. Uh, I went to one side, the left side, my son went to the right side. We were walking around that statue, and all of a sudden I heard a loud explosion. It sounded like a, a gunshot or a, a, a bomb or something like that. Uh, it came to, from my right side. So I turned and looked, and I saw uh, a man standing in the parking lot next to a vehicle, a pickup. Uh, he was holding a gun like this, pointed at the pickup. There was a person on the ground in front of him that was not moving. Uh, I assumed that that person had been shot. Um, my son turned at the same time and, and saw this. And there wasn't a lot of cover there. It was a you know, very bad situation. Uh, so I knew, I knew we needed to get out of there as quickly as we could. So I yelled at my son to, to run. Uh, we did that. We took off running. There's a, a grassy slope that goes from that point down to the entrance uh, to the lock, locker rooms and swimming pool area. Um, so we both took off running down that slope. And when you observed the individual holding the gun, um, were you able to see him clearly? I got a pretty good look at him. Yeah, um, you know, it was I was looking at him kind of from the side or, or the front, uh, front and to the side. Um, I didn't look at him very long, but it was, you know, it's, an Im it's a type of image that you remember. It's, it's uh, burned into your, your brain when you see something like that. And if you were to give a physical description of that individual, individual you saw holding the shotgun, how would you describe that individual's characteristics? Uh, appeared to me to be uh, an older, older gentleman, uh, middle-aged, older, um, medium height and weight. Uh, he was wearing long pants, uh, some type of a long shirt over another shirt, a t-shirt. Um, he, uh, I, I recall, I think he was wearing glasses of some type, and uh, I recall he had facial hair, uh, kind of dark hair or darkish gray uh, hair with a facial hair and mustache and um, that's that's what I remember seeing. And you were able to identify the individual in prior hearings as the person you saw in that event, correct? Yes. And I'm going to ask you that today. Is the person that you saw holding that gun standing outside that red truck, is he in the courtroom today, sir? Yes, sir, I believe he is. Okay, would you please point him out and describe what he's wearing? Yes, he's seated at that table over there wearing a dark suit, white um, shirt. I would like the record to, to reflect that he's identified the defendant in this case. You told your son to run, correct? That's what he testified about. Yes, sir. After you told your son to run, did you hear any other shots as you were running? I did hear another shot. I recall hearing uh, one other shot uh, after, after I had turned to run. There was one. When you were uh, approaching to your dad, would you say you and your son were walking pretty fast or uh, normal rate or a little faster than uh, you normally walk? I would say it was at a normal rate. We were, it was a nice day outside and we were just walking around to the other entrance at, at a normal pace. Did the shooter fire at you or your son? I don't believe so, but I don't know that for certain. We were not, uh, we were not hit. I know that. Did you and your son run away from what you thought were gunshots? Sorry, can you say that again? <clears throat> Did you and your son hear gunshots, and you believe that you were running away from those gunshots? We heard gunshots, and then we ran down the hill. Yes. <coughs> I don't know.